Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another episode on Splatoon 3. So, um, it's been a while since I recorded a video, uh, well, no, I have been recording a few episodes on the second part of the Golden uh, Slumber Story Quest. And if you notice that there is something different in the microphone, or if I do sound the same as ever, well, I have a new microphone, so this should capture a little better the sound when I speak, and from everywhere else around the room. So, um, well, I hope that you enjoyed it. Tell me if it was a good asset or if I should go back to the other microphone that I have. But I believe that this is a good asset here. So, the Splatfest is among us. So, how about we check out what this new Splatfest is all about. Also, I watched the Nintendo Direct the other day and it seems that we are having a new update soon. Listen up, it's ripping the stand, the splatlands, we are the god. Uh, yeah, so here we go. You live, you live Cinch with Rip Ink, Shiver, Fry and Big Man. So, breaking news. Yes, we know, it's the Splatfest. Shiver, you all oh, know, it's that time. It's the Splatfest. <laughs> it's time for Splatfest. Ooh, I like Splatfest. Yeah, time to party! What's the dim? What's the dim? Hold your seahorses, the info is still downloading. I got it. The dim is... Ah, huh. well, that's fascinating. Oh, hurry up and spit it out, you're hugging the Splatfest vibes! Chill, I'm getting ready to announce it. <laughs> come on, come on! Without further ado, this Splatfest dim is... Oh, okay, it's it. Okay, so what your favorite chocolate is? Dark, milk, or white? Yo, is this because Team Sid just rock everyone tastes boss? <laughs> tastes everyone tastes bots? Not so fast. Dark chocolate is the best. It's rich and sublime instead of sweet. Just sweet. <laughs> just sweet. How dare you! Milk chocolate, perfectly balanced, so mellow and creamy. If we're talking creamy, don't forget the velvet goodness of white chocolate. Ah, uh, why can't we pick more than one? This is torture. I quit. Yeah, me too. Regarding food, I do. We do have to quit. Come on, food is really one of the special like occasions when you can just pick one, unless you're a pick either, which is another thing, but whatever. Whoa, calm down. We're talking about chocolate. It's yummy. It's the best. And the best part of chocolate is that cacao is a cacao, right? So that chocolate, chocolate easily wins. And while other chocolates are mere triples, dark chocolate, dark chocolate has anti... somethings? <laughs> okay. I don't remember what, but dark chocolate is good, so whatever it's against is bad. So whatever, it's whatever it's against is bad. Um, okay, I don't understand how that logic works, but yeah, dark chocolate is more, not like sour, it, it's a little bit different. The, the, the taste of dark, of dark chocolate is not that sweet. It, it's different. So, well, I am not a really big fan of dark chocolate, even if that's a uh, shiver steam. So, I guess I am going to go again with fry this time. I like uh, milky chocolate. Um, I, I do like that uh, sweet combination between the creamy and also sweet of the chocolate. That's why I am picking it. I, I also don't like white chocolate. I don't know. I don't like the taste of that. I'm more of a fan of, the, of a dark chocolate, but not as much as a white one. So I am going in the middle. Milky chocolate. Is that how science works? I'd say all that dark chocolate has poisoned your brain. Hey, hey, I believe in you, Shiver. It's not too late to turn from the dark side. <laughs> oh, that's a Star Wars reference. I see what they did there. Hmm. I thought I was onto something there and about to win you to over. 
Back to chocolate. What? Why chocolate is so smooth? Like a gentle wave of, of flavor. And you... And did you know they use it to make other chocolate flavors? Like matcha. Ooh, I love... I love me some matcha. I guess why chocolate is pretty legit. It's pretty legit. It's actually pretty legit. Ah, oh, but... I like everything about chocolate, the smell, the sweetness, the creaminess, creaminess? Hey, so which one of those is the most important to you? All of them! That's why milk and chocolate is the best! Don't you see? Milk chocolate is a perfect blend of all chocolate's best quality! We're never going to agree on this! Hey, hey, hey! Us? Disagree? I'm shocked that you say that, Shiver. <laughs> let's let's up the stakes. Losers have to get the winner their choice of chocolate. Deal? Fine by me. I'll be the one getting all that sweet sweet chocolate. Hey, hey, or it could be me. Just saying. I mean, everything can happen in a splatfest, but it will with this. Well, it wouldn't tie, tie things up, because uh, I think that Shiver has three victories, and Fry, and Big, uh, Fry has one, and I think Big Man has two, or maybe one too. But I hope that Fry gets to win this one as well. I, I don't remember how the scores are, but I am picking Mika Chocolate this time. And that's all for now. Make sure to, to get your votes in. Hey, don't get your Splatfesty. Check the quick menu for you after you vote. Okay, and update. Okay, okay, yeah, we know, we know. And the stages. So, the stages are Hello Fish Market um, and Sturgeon Shipyard in regular battle, Turf War. An anarchy battle in in series is Rainmaker in Rainwater Springs and Ink Block Art Academy and Splatsons in Plunder Heights and Hammerhead Bridge. Okay, there is another okay that yeah well we already know that. And oh oh th those are new Fry Fry always has her eyes on the prize and not the smaller summon it's swarm swarming her. <laughs> So what? It's about banging the big boss. I got no time for little mosquitoes. That's true. Until they sting you a thousand times and you call for my help, right? Huh, you mean I could have been eating mosquitoes this whole time? And that's that for now. Yep, that's a wrap. Okay, so that's it. So, like I said, I am more into... Oh. Oh, <laughs> the thing just updated. So I don't think it's a, a Splatfest just yet. It said it was going to be at 6 p.m. I saw something in the news about the... Yeah, it, it is that. So, um... Okay, I'm not sure what you guys are, are picking. I mean, I guess that some of you may like the dark, the milk, and the white chocolate. But really, uh... I think milk is the best one. Dark chocolate, uh, like I said, I am more of a milk uh, chocolate. Uh, I prefer milk chocolate because dark chocolate um, is not that sweet. It has a different taste than sweet. Not sour because it's not sour. Mm, I don't know how to describe that, that flavor. And white chocolate, uh, it has a weird like taste. I don't like it. Uh, I mean, dark chocolate is also good, but like I said, milk chocolate just takes everything. I, I prefer some good milk chocolate than dark chocolate right now. So, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, also, if you're going to uh, participate in this flat piece, uh, do vote for whichever thing makes you happier. I, like I said, I am going for team, for team uh, milk. Milk chocolate, so that's that. So, hope you enjoyed this Splatfest, and we will do... What should we do? I mean, I already tested tested some of the new weapons, so... A few of the new weapons, so I guess the best thing that I could do here is to, like... Go into... 
into Salmon Run, I believe. Okay, that's that first I'm going to equip that. But yeah, I think that the best thing is to go to Salmon Run to, uh, this time. I want to see how the game, uh, what the new things are. Okay, so two Brellas and two Splatter Shots. Or that's a splush matic the other one is splash. So we'll do a few rounds of Salmon Run uh, until the Splatfest begins. Then I will be uh, recording videos about the Splatfest. Oh, oh my god, I <laughs> that last the Splatfest, bro. Even though we won, uh, the new Turf War, the uh, Tricolor Turf War was... Uh, I don't know. I didn't like it, to be honest. I mean, at least you were able, if you weren't able to get a tricolor turf war, you were able at least to like get all the, uh, to be in other matches. <sighs> but at last, what can you do? Ah, come on! But still, I would like it to like be the same Splatfest uh, as before, but I guess it's uh, to make uh, things even out. Because, yeah, I, I guess that it was a little bit, like, rough uh, before they added this. I mean, this is a way to, like, make the other uh, players to play a little more of the other modes. If they want to get into a normal match or get into Tricolor Tour matches, I guess that's good. And also, I saw, like I said, I saw that direct. Um, I had mixed feelings about going to Incopolis, to Incopolis Square, to go back, I mean. Because, I don't know, it hits different. I mean, I understand that it's something to, like, make the the player base to go back to... For a nostalgia feeling, because that's what that is. It's nostalgic to be, go back to the place where everything started. To see the Squid Sisters uh, perform their songs while Splatfirsts are going off and everything. But I don't know. It's a, it's so little different on how I wa I want to take this. I mean, I guess that the story mode regarding the um, team team order could be good because it will show you a different perspective on what may have happened if we if team order would have won. I guess it's not a bad idea to do to do what they're doing. But I don't know if I will be able to pay money to uh, experience that, you know? But I guess for some, pe some people may be happy on what uh, Nintendo has decided to do with this new update. I guess not... E uh oh. That's not good. Ah, that's a wrap! Come on! We have so much eggs there! No! Ah, oh, well... <clears throat> well... Oh my god! Ah, why did I do this? But... Uh, <laughs> I am just shocked that we all died there! Why? No! <sighs> Whatever. So, I guess that some people are happy that they did it, because I guess that the nostalgia feeling is really strong when it comes to these games. So, yes, I, I do believe that the, what they did in order to show the actual other ending, like a, like a what if, is really, it's amazing, it's, it was a really good part of their move. Mm, I don't know if it would be the same as if we have the same, like, uh, what what you call it? Oh yeah, if you have like a same like direction when you're trying to make these kind of games, but I guess it it is a good thing that they made the what if to show what if they have won. What could the story be? I mean, we already have that part of the game where um, that shows. That we can allow to, that it's not allowed to like change, even if it is a DLC. But in a story like standpoint, I guess it's pretty good. And I think that they may be adding uh, Marina and her. Maybe Marina go, <laughs> went rogue or something. If they, if she happened to wonder, 
I don't know. I, it's pretty crazy to think what would have happened. But that's why this is uh, going to happen. This this is why the, the story will take place, right? But it is a little strange on how this they would play things here. Because it all re resembled on whether it was going to be the Octarians and, and what not. Well, no, it was a little different. Even though Octavia was in Chaos Team, the other teams, like, some people were, like, in the middle. Like, they didn't care whether it was, like, a... Um... Bro, <laughs> why? Ah, oh, fine! I'll do it! Yeah, it's a little difficult to, to talk and concentrate in this. I'm sorry. Bro, you died again? Oh boy. Ah, oh, the umbrella. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, like I said, uh, for me it's a little weird on uh, what they may plan to do with this, but I guess it's not that far-fetched that they want to do something uh, relating to the ending of the other, of how it would have been the new game if the if team uh, ah, ooh, if team Ordek would have won, like what the story could be, maybe. Um, Like, all I can think of is that Marina will have, like, some sort of, like, a, not like an attack, but, like, sh uh, a very high amount of fear that would lead her to, like, try to protect the things that she loves, that she, uh, that she likes the most, I don't know, and did something to, in couples to do this. Ah! Ooh. I mean, it's hard to assume, but everyone has a, their theories, right? I mean, that's what uh, they made clear in the last in the Splatfest before they did the the thing, you know, before all the thing happened. Yeah, in the preview or in the announcement, I mean. Completely. Okay. Ah, got them. Well, last round. But yeah, mm, I don't know how they would pull that off. However, they do have time to like to like pull this off too, right? Okay, got it. Don't do that! Throw them! Ah! Oh, come on! No! <laughs> no! No! Ooh. I mean, at least this is the last one, so... I'm not too worried. I believe it in us. Oh yeah, we, we can do it, we can do it. No! Ah, oh, come on! Okay, got it. Yeah, we, we, still, we still got it. We don't stop this. We don't have to worry. And good thing is that at least in this mode, um, we don't have to worry about other like summonies to like get our stuff <laughs> from us. Ah! <laughs> ah, 
Ow. And it's done. Yes. Ah. Ah. I couldn't celebrate. Oh well. But um, yeah, so I want to know in the comments, well, I still have a bit more of time to do this kind of stuff. So first off, I want to say that I want to know your comments. What do you think on the new update that Splatoon, is going, Splatoon 3 is going to release? I think that the new update um, can be purchased or the new DLC in order to go back to Incopolis. I don't know if I will be getting it. Maybe I will wait until the yeah, until the new like a mod, a story mod comes out. Maybe because I don't see a reason to why go back to Incopolis just to like go and revisit then the old stores, watch the Squid Sisters like perform songs during the Splatfest. Maybe hear their their soundtrack. But I, I, I am not too thrilled about going back to Incopolis just now. I mean, we already have the, the Splatlands, which is the... Ah, come on! The new mode to like about this game. This is a new world. I mean, like I said, I guess that some people are thrilled to go back to Incopolis again because of nostalgia. But um, I don't know what to think. I mean, we already have the these idols, they perform good songs. I mean, I guess that, the, again, some people would like to hear, again, the Esquid Sister songs, but that's like just two songs and that's it. Maybe three if they decide to like uh, come up with other songs during the Splatfest because of this new DLC. But I haven't heard that they have been like uh, making some other new songs. So I guess it's going to be the same. And I, do, I am not too thrilled about it. But like I said, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're going to buy the, buy the new like DLC. And let me know which team are you, are you on. Are you team dark chocolate, milk chocolate, white chocolate? I am going for the middle. Like I said, I love milk chocolate. Uh, I think that's the best like flavor at least. But like I said, um, dark cho dark chocolate is like it's not really up to my taste. I am a much fan of dark chocolate than white chocolate, but that's the point. I like more the flavor and everything. So yeah, again, let me know in the comments what uh, teams you, which team are you uh, getting on, and also let me know if you're going to buy the DLC. So um, on uh, on other things speaking, well. I don't know how to <laughs> what to expect about this. I guess I will be... <sighs> well, I don't know. I, <laughs> I am a little, uh, like, not on the topic. It's a little strange, you know, like... Always trying to keep this, this uh, sort of conversations. No, come on, again? Ah, $20 a year, folks. Yeah, it is worth playing 20, uh, paying $20 just to see that a player has disconnected. One or more, come on! I just want to play, that's it. I want to rec uh, to, uh, to uh, give some nice commentary while playing, come on! Oh, but, you know... What something that I should talk about is was uh, when I, I rage when I rage during that video. For some reason, the video has uh, it started to have a little bit of like an upwards there. I don't know why. I guess uh, rage and this uh, <laughs> regarding this game uh, <laughs> does give you like some views because. Uh, I mean, there are some special people that do have, like, rage moments when it comes to that. And I have that. Like, can you imagine? I mean, that's why I don't play these kinds of games. I will say, I said this a million times and I will say it again. 
at least this game has like its own ways to like entertain me and other people too enough that you are able to play them to play this but still if I wanted to avoid this I would but still it's a little bit addictive and everything that is coming out will make it a little more addictive too I'm glad to make people play more but like I said it's better to like play with friends than just alone but I don't have anyone that wants to play with me I wish I had but I don't I don't know, maybe we wouldn't be able to like get too many like people to join us because again everyone has their tastes. I mean I guess that we could like um, be on to one point and say uh, well how about we do this and we do that I mean I wasn't going to team like j uh, joining like team water if I'm honest I, I don't I joined team grass even though if my if my people were going to like choose team well maybe team fire could have been an exception but I wasn't going to team uh, to join team like water even though they won I, I don't think it would have been my 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 thing you know ah! this is one of the worst sets of weapons that they could have got, given here, but uh, they already did that. Well, we already <laughs> we are already over, so am I complaining? Well, no, I, I do. I think that we, I do. I should complain a little because the 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 weapons are not the best. I mean, I guess it's yeah. The splash of matting, the splash of matting, the maybe the splatter shot. Oh, I miss I miss the, my inkling so much. My octoling, why inkling? Ah! Ah! <laughs> oh! I'm so good. My octoling, not inkling. The inkling is another species. Well, how could I have <laughs> mistaken the octoling for an inkling? What's wrong with me? No, to sing race. We have to take them down. Don't use your specials just now. It's already round two. I mean, I guess it's better now than never, but still, we have to get some uh, specials just for our third round as well. Because then we're struggling with the third round. Get him! Yes! Um, there is someone asking for help here. Okay, there I got it. Got that one. Ah, come on! Ah! Leave me alone, small fry! Okay. Ah, easy, easy. This is, well, it's not easy, but it's something. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't think we'll, I will be in... Well, I, I have, not in video, but I have. I hope that I, I, at some point is, I will be able to, like, defeat uh, Koho Suna in video. <laughs> I have it. Oh. It's this one. Oh, they found it. Where? Oh, it's there, it's there, it's right there, it's right there. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, no! Oh, come on, oh. Well, at least we got something out of it. Not that one. No. It's close. So it has to be that one then. Okay, got it. So, uh, yeah, we got it. Okay, so now we have to find them the... No, I think we have 
Oh, <laughs> okay, we have enough. We have enough. Good, good, good. good, good. Okay, they found it. Okay, okay, that's a good enough. I guess that we can make it up to Terry. Terry Goldenet, maybe. Okay, okay. Got it. Yeah, I guess that's Terry. Yes, that's Terry. Good. Come on, just one, a few more. Yes, three, four. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh oh, I hear the <laughs> and. Mm, oh, it's an emergency! Here he comes! Go, Hosuna! Okay, so maybe, <laughs> maybe my wish will come through and I will be able to get the, to defeat him, huh? Oh, but when it was the... Like the... Tri like the... Stinger or whatever the... the... Okay. Not just that. Not now! Ooh, ooh! Got it! Ah, come on! Leave me alone! Leave me alone, bro! Uh-oh! Oh! Ooh! No, bro! Oh! Ooh! Ah, again with this! No! No! Okay, got that! Oh no! Oh! Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Bro! We need him! He's already at camp! Come on, guys! No! <laughs> I died. Ah, oh, no, we won't be able to get him. Crap. I mean, we were doing good, but I guess that they make him stay in the middle rather than trying to make him come to the, to the sides. <sighs> but... <sighs> it's been, like, so many times that I have... Face this opponent that I haven't been able to defeat him. But at least, uh, uh, at least we completed the the few matches that I was given to. Well, I lost one, I completed two. Unfortunately, I couldn't do anything about this one, but uh, uh, I'll take a uh, win about in the first three rounds. So that's something, I guess. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, but it could have been better if today, if Kohosuna, like, exploded. We will have defeated Kohosuna. Like I said, I have defeated the uh, Kohosuna before, but I haven't, like, I don't have any proof that I can share with you. So, yeah. Well, I guess I can ask you for advice, so yeah. I will do that. But, anyways. Thank you so much for watching, please, please subscribe so you don't miss on anything that I will be uh, posting about the Splatfest or other games that I will be playing. And I will see you guys, and also, no, please leave a like and comment down below if you like this video, and like I said, comment what are your thoughts on the DLC that Splatoon is, uh, that Nintendo is planning to launch for Splatoon 3. Are you excited? Are you not? What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Also, um, which team uh, are you joining? Team Dark Chocolate, Milky Chocolate, or White Chocolate? And also, if you know about uh, an strategy that you have in order to defeat Koho Suna, at least that I can show you here in the video, let me know also in the comments. Again, I was Game Miracle and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!